Hey guys, what is going on? Chris here as always with Shughead Gaming and welcome to my review for The Persistence. Developed by Fire Sprite Limited and released exclusively on PlayStation VR this July 24th for an estimated price of $30. Of course, that's depending on your region. Set on board a deep space scientific vessel called the Persistence in the year 2521, the ship arrives at the site of a collapsing star 17,000 light years from Earth. While conducting a major experiment, a horrific incident occurs, mutating many of the crew. As the Persistence is pulled into the gravity of the collapsing star, the ship's computer, Iris, wakes remaining members of the crew from cryogenic sleep, one at a time. Stay alive long enough to save the Persistence, or die again, and again, and again, trying. Is this the next big game for PSVR headsets? Let's find out. As always guys, if you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more PSVR content from me, please consider subscribing. And for updates, hit that bell icon. As always, graphics are up first. Developed by the same team that made the Playroom VR game, the Persistence is AAA graphical perfection and easily stands toe-to-toe -to -toe with Resident Evil 7 in terms of top-tier graphical performers. Lighting and particle effects are the first standout here, draping everything with deep, dark shadows and contrasting this wonderfully with medicinal white corridors and bright neon colors from display terminals and laser blasts. Lighting here is first class all the way, right down to the reflections of the Persistence hallways on your combat knife. Lighting, as you will come to realize, is life in the Persistence, as you will come to quickly count on your flashlight and infrared vision ability to survive in this often dimly lit station with its claustrophobic maintenance crawl spaces and ever-changing maze of corridors. When first entering into the game, I was blown away with the level of graphical prowess and polish on display here. Like Resident Evil 7 before it, this is a PSVR game that appears to have sacrificed very little of its current generation graphics to make it into VR. Even without any mention of pro support, the Persistence is a sharp, clean, and richly detailed looking game. Visuals get a touch blurry when looking far out, but for the most part they retain the AAA look the game is striving for. Gun and hand models as well as their respective animations are all fantastically rendered here. Enemies look and animate similarly well, and with their varied and memorable appearance, they help lend an additional creep factor that is so important in a game of this genre. The Persistence is a procedurally generated space station, in which it changes its general layout upon each death of your character. While this is a win for replay factor, it often does not play out well for level design. While the levels do feel a little modular in design, I am pleased to say that even with the changing level layouts, the designers did a nice job of keeping the general feel intact on each station level, thus ensuring that levels can change up their layout and power-up placement without sacrificing the identity of the ship and the fun and intrigue of exploring it. All in all, The Persistence is a PSVR game that would look fantastic, even would put up against some of Flat Gaming's finest survival, corridor shooter-esque games. You will likely hear this game compared visually to games such as Alien Isolation, Bioshock, and Prey, and fairly so. For what it might lack in overall graphic fidelity in VR, it more than makes up for with the feeling it delivers of actually crawling around a derelict spaceship filled with terrifying creatures. And that's why VR is awesome. Sound is up next. Triple A all the way. That easily sums up the sound package on display in the persistence. I simply cannot praise this game enough as it does so much right. First thing you will notice is how alive even the basic spaceship sounds. For those who pay attention to science fiction shows that take place on ships, half the feeling of the ship being authentic is due primarily in part on the hum and the other nuanced sounds that a hulking piece of refined machinery would make were you aboard it. The persistence nails this, and then fills it with wails, growls, and breathing of everything that wants to kill you. Add in the barely audible footsteps from your own feet, and now you're starting to understand the basic sound design at play here. Enemy sounds are varied and absolutely startling at times, as the game has a habit of bringing in tension-building music, then spiking the sound dynamics with a screaming creature to your face. <laughs> Jump scares anyone? 3D audio is pure mastery here, with the sounds of creatures above, below, and right next to you filling the soundscape around you. This game will have you literally looking over your shoulder and doing visual scans of every room you're about to enter. 
but you gotta love it when a game's sound design comes together and you're able to head off an attack from behind because you heard it coming from behind you. And yes, the music, while not overly memorable, it's very well done and is often lurking just in the back of the sound mix. It does a fantastic job of creating tension and atmosphere and fits the game perfectly. Most of the narrative in the game is told through intercom conversations between your character and the ship's AI. While not used heavily in the game, again, like everything else in the sound design here, voice acting is top notch and easily stands as some of the best voice acting on the PSVR to date. Gun sounds and other devices you interact with all sound unique, authentic, and exceptionally sci-fi, as they should. In fact, every weapon you use or terminal you interact with truly comes off as having blockbuster quality sound effects across the board. Simply put, the persistence nails the sound side of things and ensures that sounds are used to their full potential in this VR masterpiece. And that brings us to gameplay. At its core, the persistence is a roguelike survival horror game. You are awoken by the ship's AI and tasked with saving the ship from destruction. Survive the horde of mutated crew members as you traverse multiple levels of the persistence vessel while completing the five major objectives. To keep you on your toes and replayability high, the persistence is procedurally generated. Every time you die, a new character is awoken by Iris, and the layout of the ship changes. Every life will play out differently, with different enemies to face, items to find, and power-ups to collect. The good news is you collect currency and stem cells with each life you have, and bring those back with you from the dead. Like the movie Live, Die, Repeat, you will create better, more skilled clones to awaken, and through trial and error, unlock and become more accustomed to new weapons and tactics. Your basic set of abilities consists of a limited personal shield, a basic melee ability, and your trusty harvester gun. This harvester gun will become your best friend, for besides killing foes with a stealth attack, it also, like the name suggests, harvests stem cells. These are used for future upgrades, so start collecting. As you progress, you will come across a variety of fabrication machines. Some make guns, some make grenades, while others make consumables like the ability to temporarily slow time or a rage drug that straight up halts you out for a limited time. These fabrication machines can be found all around the ship, but change places upon each death. Currency types for these machines will be found during your travels, so be sure to explore and open everything you can. Fabrication machines, like they were in the game Prey, can be the difference between life and death, so ensure you know where they are and choose your purchases wisely. With over 18 different tools at your disposal, figure out what works best and on what enemies, and decide on whether to go stealth or loud. As the game progresses, so does the difficulty and the types of enemies you will face. The depth and the persistence lies in its surprisingly robust upgrade system, for which you will use to counter this increased difficulty. At your disposal will be a multitude of clone upgrades, such as increased ability to harvest stem cells, increased shield duration, increased super sense, or higher overall health. These are purchased at the facility you wake in and are purchased using the stem cells you pick up on your travels or harvest directly from enemies. While the game is described as a stealth horror game, this really is more of a recommendation than the standard. You play how you want to play. Stealth is recommended mainly for the advantage of surprise and also so you can harvest stem cells. However, if you are like me and being slow and patient isn't really your thing, do not worry, as going big and loud can also be very effective here. At the end of the day, this is a fairly tense, sometimes stealth, sometimes action horror game that also throws in some very light puzzle solving when completing objectives. And holy shit does it ever work. The gameplay here is polished, wonderful, and addictive. Once the gameplay loop grabs you, you will be craving to play this game for the entirety of the 6 to 8 to maybe even 10 hour campaign, depending on how much you die, and saying, okay, just one more life. Enemies are dumb monsters, but are still cunning in their own right. Every creature you come across will require different tactics and different weapons, and figuring these out will be half the fun. Multiplayer fun comes in the flavor of couch co-op. Have a friend download the free Persistence app on either Google Play or the Apple App Store. With this app, another player can run oversight for you. I had my wife helping me and she was easily able to open and close doors, identify enemies and their abilities, and even help me defend myself from the horde. This is great co-op fun and a great idea to bring people into your VR fun and just another way to enjoy this game. But be aware, the Oversight player has their own point score and can also switch sides to become your worst enemy. 
World Traversal is also a breeze and caters to all player types. The game uses the standard DS4 controller and has optional full locomotion with a teleportation jump, full teleportation, click turning, smooth turning, and all sorts of dials to fine tune these settings even further. In VR, movement choice is a must and the persistence doesn't disappoint. A special note is the option to unlock your head movement from your arms. This is a small thing that makes a huge difference for overall immersion. With all these settings, motion sickness shouldn't be a factor, and this game will most likely be played sitting down, with minimal space required. Tracking was also top-notch and never an issue, either standing or seated. Finally, while mentioning the DS4 controller, I want to highlight the fantastic effort put into the rumble pack. Each footstep you take slightly shakes the controller. Every bullet you shoot and every enemy you stab is all replicated nicely in the rumble motors on your DS4. This is a feature often overlooked by smaller PSVR developers, so it's awesome to see this is done in the persistence, and done well. As for replay value, the procedurally generated nature of the game lends itself incredibly well to long-term replay value. The combat is fun and surprisingly deep, so when you do beat the game, take a look at the unlockable survival mode for additional scenarios to play through. And of course, remember that co-op mode. And finally, that brings us to Fun Factor and my final verdict. This game looks, sounds, and plays like the AAA game we have all been asking for since we last salivated over Resident Evil 7. Is it scary? For me, not so much, since the sci-fi vibe kind of kills the creep factor for me, but for others, I could see this game causing a lot of late night screams and shit-filled underwear. This game is a master at atmosphere and also loves the jump scares, but most importantly is the persistence fun, and that is an absolute yes. While true, this game may lack the in-depth narrative and sheer diversity of locales and gameplay of some of its flat gaming peers, but what it does have is that special ingredient that all great games in this genre have, the thing Thing that makes them special and memorable and that is that it draws you back in for just one more hour just one more life just one more tactic the difference is this game just happens to only be available in vr and that just elevates everything that is already great about it anyway as you know i hate number ratings and instead rate games on a scale of buy wait for a sale or burn it to the ground yes this is easily one of psvr's best games and an absolute must buy especially at this awesome price point you need this in your collection and your friends that don't have psvr need to get one to play this this is first rate vr and it's exclusive to psvr so be psyched you have a psvr and go experience the persistence for yourself Anyways, guys, that's it for me. If you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more PSVR content from me, please consider subscribing. And for updates, hit that bell icon. I will catch you guys on my next video.